Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. Today's reading is going to be about what messages does your beloved or your soulmate have for you. In the cosmos, we are connecting with so many different entities, people, places, and things in a myriad of ways, but our soulmate and our beloved has a very special energy and we do connect and they do have messages for us. So let's find out what yours are today. And we have three choices. Number one is warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Number two is sisterhood of the rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic and teacher. Number three is transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So I'm going to just take a pause and let you make your choice and I will get a sip of water okay so we're going to use Miss Cherry Enchantress's most beautiful deck of Enchanted Embrace these lovely cards that have messages and meanings and we're going to start with number one firstly i would like to thank everybody for all your beautiful messages and comments you're so lovely saying how you missed my voice and it soothes and comforts and calms you and you like to listen to me with your coffee because i have readers and speakers that i do that as well so um that's such a privilege and a nice thing to hear so thank you so much you guys so we're going to begin with number one and we're going to have three messages we're going to pull out and then I'm going to revert to, um, oh my gosh, did it like sprinkle gold? I had that in my other hand and I was walking around and it must have sprinkled out. That must have looked crazy like magic fairy dust just raining down on the cards. I will love you to my dying day. They feel your energy. They feel this exchange. I mean, it is monumental. It is something that sustains us when we think, oh my gosh, I can't deal with another winter day or I can't deal with another obligation or a bill or a problem. This love light goes on, this beacon, this fulfilling, beautiful entity. I'll be back in one second. I just need to open my door. My insane cosmic cat will make a big hullabaloo if I don't let her out. So it's one of those things where we're interchanging this lovely, powerful energy with each other. And they want you to know not only if they are with you or they're on their way, they will love you to their dying day. Sometimes it's long range travel, you know, but they know what is to be shared with you and they want to do it in a big way. Um, they want you to feel this energy, this love, this knowing of what's good for you and your life and your energy is is being made possible and it is working its way into your life and your reality sometimes it's just having the patience for it that can be very hard i can't help but falling in love with you already have you ever let me simplify this it's have you ever experienced just seeing an animal or something and you have such an affinity for it and you know you have to adopt that animal? It's that exchange of energy. That animal is not talking to you in human words. Same thing with the energy of our soulmate. It's in the ethers. It's ethereal. It passes through. It generates these feelings of warmth and love. And they want you to know that they can't help falling in love with you. Every time they think about you and your essence and your you know, your emergence out of just this kind of universal energy. They feel it and you lift them and they want you to know that they can't help falling in love with you. You're magic. Oh, they have their responsibilities. So they want you to know too, whether you have just met and you're already synced up or they're on their way, they have their responsibilities as do we, right? Have you ever been really busy, like writing an email or something and a family member or someone comes in and you know you want to do your utmost to finish that to your professional best, to do all that and have everything just kind of work in sync and not have distractions because you want to finish and complete something before you give your attention elsewhere. They want you to know they are on their way. They have their responsibilities. It's one of those things where they need to finish up with it. So we're going to see what's working on in, in their houses too because I always feel like messages travel beautifully through there and they're signed as well and planet. I'm going to pull one of each. I feel like these deliver substantial and beautiful messages to us. 
You are part of their destiny. They want you to know where you are going. They are meeting you halfway. They are on their way. It's one of those things. I know it's such a roomy type thing, but what you're seeking is also seeking you. When we look for the best and we feel good and we go out in the world, we look for those smiles. We look for that laughter, that love and that light, and it meets us halfway, right? Same holds true to the opposite. When we're feeling doomy, gloomy, and all of that, we see those nasty snarls on people's faces and that impatience, right? So that love is there and it's connecting. And it's one of those things where you are going to have success and in this meeting phase and all will be well. So do not have worry. And in this Aries energy, it's saying all your desires regarding them and them holding true to you and loving you and having integrity and authenticity, they will hold true to that. They, the energies to meet the challenges that are in the soulmate journey are to be just easily hurdled because we know it is a temporary state of doubt when we become impatient or we're longing for that love and we feel it right it's like it, it, it's almost like that beautiful um easter egg hunt where you know you think you know where that best egg is and when you don't find it right away then you get impatient and you're like i don't want this crappy old orange egg or whatever it's cracked you know it's all of that thing in the journey where we get impatient and we think we're on the threshold of giving up or we have lack mentality don't worry because it's going to come through and it is resulting from the honesty and strength of your heart and your intuition guiding you in the right direction they feel it you feel it they're on their way and there will not be anxiety about trouble. You will not give yourself those feelings of, oh my gosh, what if this goes wrong, this and that. Again, I was listening to Marissa Pierce today, and I love her aspect of um, why certain people are successful in love and life. And half of it has to do with we don't give ourselves a laborious list of to-dos or wants, right? Like, um, we don't overload ourselves. That becomes so taxing that if, especially if there's perfectionism, is perfectionism involved, we could give up entirely because it's too much work. It's too hard for us. We're not trying to um, drive ourselves absolutely nuts in the in the pursuit of our love, right? We're taking it easy. We're we're staying focused, invigorated, and um, using our envisionment process to see this. And we are not having negative self-talk anymore. And our overarching energy is this beautiful nine of pentacles, feeling abundant, feeling the warmth, feeling the wealth, feeling everything that we have to, you know, let me give you an example. Sometimes we wake up and, you know, we might be sad that maybe our child didn't say goodbye before school or something broke or whatever, but we're not focused on that. We're not focused on that one thing that we feel like we missed out. We're seeing all the beauty and magic around us. Our th plants are thriving in our house. It's evidence of living beautiful, thriving energy all around us, right? Our cat comes and sits in our lap. Our child smiles at us. We wave at our neighbor. Our, we feel the sun is getting warmer. All of those things that hold us um, in the light that make us feel good and make us feel connected. You're right on the precipice of this love and they want you to know they are, they love you, that they want to hold you and feel you in their arms and you are the person of their dreams and they want to be with you and grow old with you. You know, you are their destiny. They want you to know this a hundred percent and Life is going to be yours together and you're going to live it beautifully. So those are your messages, group one. Beautiful. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. And all my links are down below if you want a private read. And this energy, really fantastic. You know, it's one of those things. Don't disregard the synchronicities and the synergies that are constantly happening that bring you together, that get, you know, that help you derive a sense of love and balance and fearlessness because they're helping provide that for you as you are them. Remarkable, remarkable energy. So now we're on to number two, which is Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty, Devotion, Mystic Teachers, Priestess. This is feeling that love energy, feeling alive, happy, connected, loving, wonderful, all of those things that help us feel in balance and make us feel that we are all part of this cosmos and this stronger loving energy and that we don't, it shouldn't be such a struggle and people feel it. And I know this for a fact, cause they say, they tell me over and over when they feel, you know, 
if they've been feeling lost and alone, you're just outgrowing who you were. You're this new, beautiful, strong person. Surround yourself with people who bring out the best in you. When you struggle to see it yourself, you can be your own worst critic. So it takes an outside person that you love and trust to help bring that power within back out and bring that beautiful electricity back. Because a new cycle is starting in your life and it's shifting your spiritual enlightenment to help you read your reach your fullest potential as well right now. You are special. You are going to have wonderful walks in the woods with this individual. I'm feeling that that's something that they definitely want you to know. So let's see what some of their messages are. And I'm using Cherry's great cards. I love these so much. So let's see what they want you to know, group two. Are you coming to the tree? I always feel like this is the tree of um, love and knowledge and balance. You know, um, one of those things where it branches off and you... You can smell the leaves. You can smell the forest. You, all your vitality is rich. And they, your tree is a symbol of your love. Long-lasting, deep roots, all of that. So that's probably one of your beautiful synchronicities. Images of trees make you feel loving and warm. They want to write your name in the sky. They feel you. They're surrounded by your loving embrace, your energy, all of that. And they can't wait to meet you. And if they have recently met you, they want everybody in the world to know. They love everything everybody to be aware of how magic you are and how did they get so lucky a lot of people will say this to their significant other how did I ever get so lucky when you think of all the chance meetings and close um, proximity but not quite there like all these destined meetings that sometimes skip a generation a century or whatever just due to um, synergies and synchronicities and timings and allowances of the universal um, you know clock how did they get so lucky to be able to have you in their life or soon to have you in their life? Can you feel their love? They want to know if they're sending you out these vibrations. They're writing to you. They're dreaming about you. They want you to know that you are utmost in their thought and mind and you provide them with love and balance and security and wonder and they can't wait to be with you in the 3D. So let's see what... Wow. So some of your energy right now with this beautiful Emperor and Ace of Wands, they want you to know they have such passion for you. They are on their way. It's one of those chariot moments where they just derive so much hope and balance and warmth from knowing that you exist. They feel you 100% And this Emperor energy is someone who um, is always going to treat you honorably. They're always going to be authentic. They're always going to have full throttle integrity towards you and the love will be eternal. And they want you to know that, you know, they are devising everything within their means to make their way towards you as soon as possible because they feel you. They, they want to surround you in love and protection and they can't wait to be with you. And that's their messages group too. So beautiful. Wow. I sometimes feel like I'm going to cry when I do these kind of reads because I see faces. I see this. I don't know if you guys ever saw the face I just saw was miraculously like uh, in Technicolor. If you ever saw um, ba, 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 Braveheart, Robert the Bruce, the one that played Robert the Bruce, I was picturing his face speaking to me while I was doing this reading. And that, that was part of it. It was a person of like kingly demeanor and super strong um, person that is just, you know, I, so ethereally beautiful and has big expressive eyes that type of person and um they want you to know that they are on their way so really beautiful group too if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below and if you need a private reading on this if you want to go to my etsy store everything is down there i have all kinds of linky dinky do's and come see me on instagram too it's sparkquest11 i'm gonna be holding some more contests this week i'm getting all caught up with my stonehenge um, stuff and Patreon. So I'm going to have time to run some contests next week as well. So love and light to group two. Now we're on to number three, which is transformation. Things are changing on a cellular level, deep healing in a lot of regards when this comes to, um, if you haven't been feeling well, if you've been tired, I know I'm coming into connection with a lot of people that feel a little depressive and very sad. Like they just, they need their spring. They need their summer. They need their sun. They need a change. They need a shakeup. Most of all, they need to allow themselves to have this beauty, light, and magic arrive by expecting it, by envisioning it, by feeling it, and by guiding it towards them. You know, no more blockages. This is the age of Aquarius. A new time is dawning where we're allowing for all the the best things in our life. I want to taste and 
I want to taste you, to savor you, to kiss your neck, to nibble on your ear, to be near you. I feel like a lot of you guys, as soon as I was saying this, I could smell vanilla and coconut and all these essences that you like to wear. Green tea, patchouli, all of these scents just surrounded me. However you smell is like a souped up crazy horm like um, pheromone hormone for them. Your hair shimmers in the moonlight. They're constantly picturing you. And I feel like a lot of you guys are moon worshipers and you like to walk in the moonlight and see the moonlight. They see you in your windowsill. They see you out and, you know, they just like regarding your image in there with your, a lot of you have dark, shiny hair and they love it. Let me be your emperor. That is terrific because that, funnily enough, in my last reading, that was the main card that came up was the emperor card. They want you to know they're going to be steadfast and true, all of those things, and now the knights of the round table, um, male or female, you know, this person is going to have integrity to the last. They don't care what anybody else is saying, doing, thinking, or feeling. You are the one. They want to be focused on you. They've already honed into your energy, and they want to protect, love, and care for you until you are separated into the next life and they will always defend you and your honor and be close by you you are the woman of their dreams and we can flip that around as two you are the man of their dreams you are the person that is their perfect aspect in every regard the high compatibility factor that you are just like this gleaming beacon of of cosmic light and joy to them that's not saying that you're perfect nobody is perfect i mean if it's so funny how um, people can have this image that is, oh, just, you know, let, let, like, let's take a Mal Clooney for an example. You know, someone who just looks so polished and so wonderful, but in their downtime, they love sweatpants, they love TV, they love Doritos, they love junk, but in their professional lives, they must look polished or their image crisp and all that. It's not about that. It's so beyond any of the visage and it is completely energetic. You are the person of their dreams simply by being this lovely, gorgeous individual who, who captivates them. And their overarching energy right now with everything is that beautiful fool energy Energy. And they know you embody this. You know that you're divinely guided. You trust. You trust in love. You are probably a hopeless romantic. You probably love flowers and the notebook and rain and walks in the woods and all of that. And they feel that and they, they want to connect with you in that energy. And they see you ethereally and in the dreamscape and they cannot wait to be with you. And if they, if this is a new matchup, they want you to know that, you know, it is completely a magical existence for them with you in their life. Now, another thing is to become unbound and release soul patterns, contract of past lives, to just let it all go. This belief system that we can only have so much, do so much or be so much, let it go. Every opportunity for the greatest love, the greatest success is available to you. They want you to see that in yourself. Let go of those patterns, especially if your parents um, or friends or anybody is trying to place any kind of limiting beliefs on you, anything that limits you or makes you think you're limited to let go of that. You know your true nature and capabilities and you're going to have these wins that just kind of accrue and make you go, wow, I did not know I had that in me. That is amazing. I am surprised because your capability for love and connection and success are so unlimited and they want you to know that, that you're going to get out there and you're going to thrive and you're going to be a change in the world, a force for good, that you persuade people on Bono to you in a really wonderful way that you are magic and light and um, they do see you in the moonlight. I love that. That's so beautiful. I swear I tear up whenever I do these because I see people. I see people speaking. You know, it's really, I see like a young Ray Fiennes kind of face just sitting there talking and letting you know, I see you. I feel you. I'm here with you. It's so lovely. So those are your messages, group three. So beautiful. I need a fan so I could be like a Southern lady that's like, oh my, this is heating up over here. <laughs> Again, you guys, if you want some wicked cool amazing cards these are cherries if you go see cherry enchantress these are her enchanted embrace cards and i love them so much the messages are beautiful and soulful and touching and sweet just like love should be so that's you guys my name is melanie if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my linky dinks are down below if you need a private read if you want to come see me on instagram at sparkwist 11 i do daily posts and memes and i connect with everybody i have talks and i love it and i'm able to answer questions about crystals tarot and all of that and it's just another lovely way for me guys 
for me to connect with you guys as well as I love to hold contests and I'll be holding some really cool ones with my Stonehenge goodies next week when I get all caught up with everything because the end of the month is very um whoo it's a little pressing on me but I am completing my tasks and so it will be contest time so love and light to you guys listen in your dreams write down when you feel certain things and you're gonna have your hair stand on end and I feel these chills in these moments and that your soulmate going boo <laughs> I'm with you sister I'm with you mister so love so just remember to focus on the hocus pocus.